So, good afternoon everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to discuss about the microbiota, but my emphasis will be on the gut microbiota. So, let's begin first. What is microbiota? As you, you, as you may see here, the word microbiota consists of two words, micro and biota. Biota means living and micro means small. So basically, all the microorganisms that are inhibiting in our body, they are called microbiota. So basically, all the microbes, there are trillions of microbes that we share, we share our bodies with. They are all called microbiota, okay? So this is microbiota, the definition. The microbiota, actually, it majorly consists of the bacteria. But we also have other microorganisms, and they may be fungi, they may be viruses, etc. So one important uh, concept uh, for uh, you people to understand is that, you know, in our body, actually, there are 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells. You see, 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells. Just think about that, okay? So what is... Microbiota, all the microorganisms that we share our bodies with, they are called microbiota. And microbiota majorly consists of bacteria, but there are also other microorganisms such as fungi, viruses, etc. And in our body, we have 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells. So now, so what is this, what is the makeup of human microbiota? Okay, so actually, we all differ in the microbiota. So in, there are individual differences in the microbiota abundance, uh, relative in, in the microbiota abundance um, and the composition. So um, not only this, not only there are individual differences, but there are also differences within the individual. I means in the different organs of the body, the, the, the microbiota, you know, may be different. For example, you know, we might have different microbiota in the, in the gut, in the mouth, in the skin, you know, there might be the differences in the microbiota, okay? But among the microbiota found in different parts of our body, the gut microbiota is the most diverse form of the microbiota. So gut microbiota is the most diverse form of the microbiota. Gut microbiota basically refer, referring to the microbiota found in our uh, the gut. Yeah. Okay, so and this will be the focus. So what is gut microbiota? So gut microbiota is found in the gut of our body and it actually consists of tens of trillions of microorganisms. Okay, tens of trillions of microorganisms and that actually uh, consists of at least 1,000 different species of known bacteria, okay? So tens of trillions of microorganisms with at least 1,000 different species of known bacteria. So next important point, concept in the gut microbiota is that the, there are 3 million bacterial genes, which are actually 150 times more than the human genes, okay? 3, 3 million bacterial genes in the gut, which are 150 times more than human genes. Next important point is microbiota in total actually it weighs up to 2 kg. Oh my god, 2 kg. That's a lot of microorganism, even the size of the microorganism. Okay. So next uh, important concept is that this uh, out of the total microbiota, one third of the microbiota is common to all of us. But Two-third of the microbiota is specific to each one of us, okay? One-third is common, but two-third is specific. Therefore, this microbiota actually acts as the identity card of an individual, okay? So, because two-third is specific to each one of us, right? So, the gut microbiota, some concepts I want to repeat is there are trillions, tens of trillions of microorganisms and with at least 1,000 known, known species of bacteria and 3 million bacterial genes, which are 150 times more than the human genes. Microbiota weighs up to 2 kg. One third of the microbiota is common, but two third is specific to each one of us. Hence, uh, the microbiota act is the identity card of each of the individuals. So why it is important to have the, uh, the, 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 the gut microbiota? The most uh, I mean, the answer to this question is to perform, you know, 
fulfill different physiological functions or to fulfill different physiological functions. Some examples of which are, you know, for, for example, the gut microbiota is important for the digestion, digestion of certain foods, right? It is also important for the production of different vitamins such as vitamin B, vitamin K, etc. Gut microbiota is also important to maintain this intestinal mucosa intact. And how, how do the microbiota make the intestinal mucosa intact? They combat the you know, aggressions from other microorganisms and then maintain the intestinal mucosa uh, intact. Okay? And the gut microbiota also have been found to play important role in immunity uh, performing better effect. So if there is any dysbiosis of this uh, microbiota, then that might result into different diseases and pathologies. Therefore, the gut microbiota is important, mainly to fulfill uh, different physiological functions. Right. Now, next question comes, okay, fine. Microbiota is important for us. So when does actually it start developing? This is the another question, you know, that comes to the mind of, uh, you know, all of us. The answer to this question is that the microbiota starts, you know, the de uh, development at the birth. When the baby is born, immediately after that, you know, the, the microorganisms colonize the baby. Um, you know, for example, the newborn's digestive tract especially is colonized by the microorganisms from the mother. You know, that can come from the uh, vagina or the skin from the breast. And also, um, from the environment in which the delivery takes place, this, uh, the, the baby, as baby's digestive tract is colonized by the uh, microorganisms. And from the actually third day, um, the, the, the microbiota depends on how the infant is fed. Breastfeeded uh, babies, they have, you know, bifidobacteria. So how does the microbiota evolve? Like I said before, the, de the, the development of microbiota starts right at birth and this composition of uh, microbiota evolves throughout our entire life, starting from the birth uh, to the old age. And this is actually influenced by, you know, environmental influences, dietary influences, etc. Uh, more than 1,000 different uh, known bacterial species can be found in the human gut uh, microbiota, but only 150 to 170 predominate in any given subject. So evolution is throughout the life and 1,000 uh, species of known gut microbiota, but only 150 to 170 pre predominate in any given subject. Thank you very much everyone for your attention.